Well, here comes the rain. We have liftoff. So the weatherman is saying possibly five to seven inches in the next several days. We're slightly worried. It's definitely rising. Shucks. Well, it's a new week and uh, it's starting to rain a little bit, but he's gonna try to get, try to get the rest of the beans in the ground this morning, maybe, hopefully. And we get to start our day with me guiding the tractor in here because he can't see anything and we all know how much I love giving directions that wasn't hard I'm cutting these off so we can go get another pallet Good deal. Well, here comes the rain. <laughs> but he's back with the seed and we're going to load up and I, I reckon he's going to seed anyway. It's not pouring. Yeah. And the weather, it just can't make up its mind. It comes a heavy mist and then it stops and then it comes back. Now it looks like the sun's gonna come out. The radar is showing just a little slight sail over. So hopefully it clears on out. I got grass I need to mow too. We've been waiting patiently, holding the fort down, holding the truck down. Yeah, okay. Good girl. We've been called in duty, hadn't we, Bonnie? Yeah. We're going to take the farmer some beans and some lunch. Ready, Freddy? Good. And just as soon as I leave, it starts raining again. <laughs> it hasn't. It hasn't been. It's let up all all the half a day. Oh boy. Recognize this road yet? <laughs> Alright little beans grow. Grow beans grow. And he's waiting. It takes a while to get down here. <laughs> It's almost done down here. Pretty sure that's rain coming this way, maybe. So we're gonna tarp, tarp the beans. Wish she could help on. All right, he wants me to wait on him. So I'm just gonna back up under this tree. In case it does come a legit shower. But it's tarped. <sighs> Always racing to beat something. Rain. Rain. <laughs> and we have a Slightly heavy mist. <laughs> I wouldn't call it actual rain. Well, not quite yet. Well, I think he's done. He stopped. It looks like he's eating his sandwich I made him. And whatever that was, that little cell has passed on around for now. So, yay. 
cooled off. I was wearing a jacket yesterday and the day before I was sweating. It was like summer. Weird weather. If you don't like it, stick around. It's liable to change at any minute. <laughs> well, I was wrong. He's still rolling. He just stopped to eat. I decided to walk out here and look and see what I see. We have liftoff. Looky, see that? It's our sorghum coming up. Yeah. Alrighty. I just love it when it all starts coming up. Mm, good feeling. Bonnie and I are gonna stretch our legs. Go see if any corn's coming up. He said, see if corn's coming up. It's been planted in a week. He didn't believe me when I told him that the sorghum was coming up. <laughs> he thought it was just in the wet place, but it's not. It's coming up everywhere. Here we go, Bonnie. Looky, looky, looky. We have corn. We have emergence. I think that's what they call it. <laughs> yeah. What do you smell? Huh? What do you smell? We do have corn popping up in rows. No, don't roll on it. You are so rotten. Did you know that? Rotten. Very good, very good. Are you excited? Is Bonnie excited? Bonnie's excited. <laughs> Does it feel good, girl? You feel frisky? Oh my goodness, wow. That's a lot of excitement for a little Bonnie doll. <laughs> Oh. So we've got corn, beans, sorghum, and little blue dogs. Bonnie. <laughs> okay, we're heading home. He's got a little bit left, but he had enough beans. So, now... I really want to mow the grass at the house before more rain comes. If I can get it in before supper. I'm gonna try anyway. raining and there's a lot more coming hmm. so we're just gonna drink some more coffee like that you can get it in my store <sighs> here we go We saw that this morning, five to seven inches projected. And it's a lot of it's going or coming from a lot of it's gonna be up river, and that's what worries us too. So I cried a little bit. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't mess it up. Farming. So it continues. 
it don't break. Well, I got new clippers. <laughs> We're gonna let Daddy try them out on Wesley's head and a new first. Horse brush for free. And a new horse brush. <laughs> Look, boy. That's a quarter. Mm. What? Is this something sh shorter of on the head? Here's like, a video. Put it in, let's show the whip. Desensitizing your horse to clippers. <laughs> That's not what we're trying to do. I'm trying to desensitize two guys to clippers. <laughs> oh, it's a little chilly and a little rainy. A little. And here we go. Hmm. I really like my son's hair long, but it's not staying that way. <laughs> Longer. Oh, you hear the Just put on a oh. blade and keep cutting. What'd you say? If he messes up, put on the... Put on the thunder blade and keep cutting until there ain't nothing left cut. <laughs> that, I may just get you to take that three eighths and just go all over top of mine. Oh, gosh. All right. Ah. He did good with yours, Wes. This looks good. Back too. Right. Yeah, you, to you, you started the back and go up. Wet right, dog. Right there. Oh, what a mess. Side. And all in a cut and then uh, let me get the tire on. Oh, Mr. Elmo. Okay. Pull it, pull it down in my collar there. Like this. Roll the collar back. Like that. Well, you gotta be able to get your neck. I know it. Look down. You gotta get that. You say, you feel okay doing that? Let me eat, boy. <laughs> For some reason, he wanted to let Wesley do it this time. Oh, okay. It's only fair. Tip for tat. Don't, don't go so fast. Austin, that was gross. <laughs> and the cut continues. And I'm just trying to be out of the way, you know? <laughs> uh, he's doing good. I think. Whatever. It's just hair anyway. <laughs> that big comb. Yeah. Let's see. I think you did good. I don't see any balls. Wesley, you did really good. I'm a good teacher. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Might have a, a little a little barber on her hands. Wes, I'm serious. You did good. Your daddy owes you how much? $13? You just need to go do... We're going to trade. Huh? We're going to trade them. Oh, you're going to trade? Yeah. <laughs> yours for his, his for yours? Are you cold, Bonnie? I'm cold and wet, Mommy. You did really good, Wes. <laughs> Should be very proud. Is this, what is That's this? a 3-8. That's a 3-8. Waiting. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> when I've been beat, I... I... Whoa! I didn't sound good. Well, that little patch of barley is not looking so good, is it? Holy smokes! <sighs> Boo. You know those days that start kind of bad and get a little worse and then get worse? That's kind of today. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, cutting up some cube steak for supper and Marty's tip of the day. Do not cut off the tip of your thumb when you are cutting up meat. Yeah, that's never advised. So my husband, um, I texted him because he's very good at fixing things. And uh, he came home and he bandaged me up 
and it's already bled through once and it's about to bleed through again. <laughs> so my son has gone to the tack room to find the blood stop. Lawrence says it won't hurt too bad for too long, but it'll stop the bleeding. So nice to, um, to have a husband that's also a doctor. This is, this is me. This is the story of my life. I cannot be trusted with a dull knife, much less a new sharp one. So, anywho, tomorrow's got to be better. Has to. My sweet girl went and fed for me this morning in the rain. What'd you say? It felt like sleet hitting my leg because it was like my legs were so cold. Felt like sleet. Oh, well, you done good. Thank you. After I went through the two buckets, I was like, dang, I didn't know you could do that. That's why you never really. You lift the two buckets at the same time? No. Oh. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. check. So we've had uh, right at three inches in the last, I don't know, 36, 20, 48 hours. Day and a half. Day and a half, yeah. Calling for possibly up to four more, three, four more. I don't know. It's raining. It's going to keep raining for the next few days, evidently. So, fingers and fat thumbs crossed that the river doesn't get out. Okay, yeah. the river is probably getting out. Hopefully, it doesn't. Gonna wash all that sand back over all of the wind and uh, Where's my Where's my eternal optimist? <laughs> I know. We're just hoping it's not terrible. No thumbs down, Mom. No thumbs down. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my thumbs up. <laughs> so good. This is not our farm, but it's always a telltale sign of where the water's at. streaks are down. It could be worse though. Yeah, the whole field could be down. That's right, the whole field can be down. <laughs> and there's a patch laying down. Is this big all the way up to you? Not out here yet. Oh. Yeah, it's backed out the creek down there on the end. Hmm. The last one we had? I don't know the last one. Anyway, we've had one that was 28 foot and it came almost up to the gate. That's not going to be good for this field. Oh, 
Sí. <risa> Y'all got grass. In that place, you had more grass than it over here. And I'm glad you come over here. Well, on a good note, it's not raining this morning. <laughs> Eat up. It's a little money, aren't we? Mark just said we're at 5.7. 5.7 inches in three days. Three and a half, three days, four days. Anyway, it's enough. It stopped for now. Uh, they're calling for more storms, possibly this afternoon, because it's gonna be warm. Then, hopefully, hopefully, we're done for a little while. Going to check the river bottom late, like, later. It's out. It'll be what it'll be. What do you think, Bonnie? You're just happy to be here, like always, right? Yeah. Not a care in your little world, as it should be. And day three. We won't be going across there today. <laughs> For a field again. <sighs> Shoot. <sighs> we'll have a beach again, huh? work more work period just work <laughs> work lost work gained how about that that's what we got Ugh. Bernard's riverfront property again And so it goes, keeps going it seems, just ridiculous, crazy. The way of the river bottom. <laughs> comes out after the storm. No, that was the sorghum. This was the corn. This is the beans. There's some trees floating. Well, this is this is the goner, obviously. Yeah. I'm actually here with the insurance adjuster. <laughs> oh. And here's a story. Anyway, I think I had old truck 
72 was the highest flood I've seen around here. And it was, the water was, as we come down the hill, the water was back up that hill right there. But anyway, me and another boy decided we'd take a John boat and ride over the bottom up there behind my brother's house. We had to cut a 20 foot pole and had two paddles, a little John boat. But we done good out in the field, you know. Uh -huh. And we knew better to get out there in the river. So we was gonna go to another field. We had to go through the, the road, went through some woods, get out into the field. Mm -hmm. And we were paddling through there and all of a sudden the boat rived up and went down. And it felt like he was on top of me. And I was scuffling, trying to get him off the boat or something or other, and nothing on top of him. And I could not get away. I was against the tree. Finally, I got my feet against the tree and pushed out, come up. I drank a little water before I got up. He ain't come up yet. And then the boat popped up. And uh, I grabbed the boat. The boat was upside down. And he still ain't come up. Well, finally, he come up, and he about drowned it. He was, you know, done got hysterical. And he was fighting, and I shoved the boat to him, let him get a hold of the boat. And we made it to the trees at the hillside there. And I said, what would you turn the boat over for? He said, I didn't turn the boat over. What happened, that water was coming around that tree. And it sucked that boat there. Yeah. And I said then, this old boy will never get in the flood water unless it's a emergency. Mm -hmm. It's been a fun day. <laughs> uh, not really. I'm, I'd be lying if I said it's been a fun day. But it's been another day on the farm. And uh, this is farming. And this is what we deal with. You know, we farm on river bottoms. River bottoms flood. Uh, <laughs> Lawrence said it's flooded the last five or six years. A week after he's finished planting not all have been this bad, but, um, and he also said it didn't used to be this way. It wasn't always like this on the river bottoms. He blames it on people. <laughs> he said there's, uh, it seems it wasn't this bad when he was younger. He says he thinks it has to do with the runoff from more people in the town and more concrete and things not having anywhere to go. So it goes in the river and comes down and gets out easier. I don't know if that's true or not. It makes sense. Most of what runs through his mind does make sense usually. But anywho, this is where we're at. I know a lot of y'all uh, maybe don't follow me online, other places like Facebook or Instagram. I do a lot of writing. A lot of times I will write little things there that don't get shared here. I don't know, but I kind of feel like sharing this little blurb that I wrote and posted on Instagram and Facebook this morning. So I'm gonna show the picture and I'm gonna read you what I wrote. And then we're gonna move on. Guess what we're having for supper? You get three guesses and the first two don't count. That's right, we're having steak. It's a good night for steak. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head into this Memorial Day weekend, Memorial weekend, thankful above all else for our freedom. Uh, for our freedom in this country, for those who made it possible, for those serving, continuing to make it possible, if that's you or someone you, you know or love or have loved, like I have those people in my life, my dad, both of my grandfathers, uh, uh, Lawrence's dad, Papa, that we lost last year. Yeah, lots of amazing people have gone before and go still to keep our freedoms. Thank you. If that's you, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay, I'm gonna show that picture. I'm gonna read that. And then maybe we'll just uh, go out on some steaks sizzling in the skillet and butter. Cause that's a really good way to end most any day, especially a not so great one. Okay, here we go. Hard work lost, hard work gained. It takes a lot to get seed in the ground, time, money, energy, and it'll take a lot to fix these fields, again. But no matter what, we will. This ain't our first flood rodeo and it won't be our last. 
It still stings, though. And I know in her nine-year-old eyes it's hard to understand why, or the weight of it all, or the worry in her dad's eyes and the tears in her mom's. But I can't help but think, and hope, what she learns through the hard parts of growing up as a farmer's daughter makes her stronger to endure the hard days life will bring her wherever she goes, whatever she does. Life isn't without hardship. It's how we rise above it that matters. And we will. Well, I got so called up, I totally forgot to video my steak cooking. I cooked two huge sirloins tonight. This is what we got. I had to cut up my girls. Yeah, so that's good. I call it steak therapy. Hashtag steak, steak therapy. It's a real thing. It's amazing. You should try it.